hello hello beautiful people you are warmly welcome back to the channel my name has always been rose keldy and this is the rose keldy ministry platform yes we are still on the water and the salt bath or how we can use salt and water to our benefit the spiritual benefit of salt and water and today we want to know we want to restore our what taste of life we want to restore taste into our life if we have lost our taste today god said he wants to renew that for you if you are interested in how correctly you can use salt and water for this stay tuned after this short commercial break i will be right back you are welcome back to the channel yes today as i said by the grace of god i am going to give you the correct way of using salt and water to regain or to 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 get back or to restore your what your taste you know taste is power if you are the Bible says in the book of Matthew that if the salt loses its power or its taste, it becomes useless, it becomes tasteless. And the reason why people are not buying from you because you don't have taste. The people, the reason you are, if let me just let me give you the 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 the, 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 the people that need this taste power to be renewed. If you work as a presenter. If you work as a presenter, you talk to the masses, you are a communicator. You, if you are a, a, a business, a business, you have a business or you work in the business community, you need taste. If you are a person that is what you speak on radio, you speak in the re, uh, inspirational, you are an, insp an inspirational speaker, you are a preacher like I do, like I sit here speaking to the people, to the masses, if you are in, you are in this category, if you are the person that is called to, to teach others if you are a teacher you are also in this word category as i said you need you, people needs to give you attention but you need the the, the, the taste of life you need a, a seasoning that will make people you know to pay attention to whatever that you are saying if you're on the radio, people want to hear your voice. They want to listen to you. They can listen to you all day. Why? Because your voice suits them. Your voice, you know, is giving them that that uh, appealing. It is making them to just watch you or just listen to you because you have a taste upon your, your tongue. You, you are not tasteless. So there is a way that you can lose your taste that when you are classified in this, you know, this category, Category that people might not even want to look at you. Meanwhile, you have something important that they what you are giving them. You have a knowledgeable a thing, stuff that when you you are giving them, but they are not just ready to listen to you simply because you don't have that what that taste to you know talk to them. So I have some listed things here that I want you to pray for. Or that I want to bring your attention to if you want to use salt for taste because salt as I said it represents it represents covenant it represents seasoning it represents a purification it represents the everlasting covenant of God it also represents durability uh, like long lasting uh, durability sorry English is not my language sometimes it like this mm. yes this is this if you are a talker and you, this is what you do i can tell this is sometimes this is how it feels but we are here and we are never tired so i'm going to read from what i have written it's kind of it's kind of prayer so when you are praying this as i said i'm going to leave the screen it's in the book of matthew that jesus was talking about we being the salt of the earth and that when we lose this, our salt and uh, we, we don't have any season we don't have any taste we become tasteless nobody wants to listen to us nobody wants to watch us but then this is your work you are you are you are you have to you have to have contact with people you need to convince people like an advertiser you need to convince people to place an advert you need to convince people to buy your product you need to convince people to listen to you you need that attraction you need that power and today one of the things that you can use to gain this attention is the salt of god you are going to use salt okay you're going to use salt and this one you have to bath this and you have to do this three days okay do this three days 
Do this three days in the name of Jesus. When you do these three days, you can also do this seven days or 21 days. After you finish doing this continuously, make sure that when you are doing this, you are doing this at dawn, maybe from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Before the day breaks, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. I tell you the secret about 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. If you have not been watching these videos, please go. I have videos on that, the benefits of you getting up at 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. What you are getting or what God is doing at that time. So when, when you are praying this prayer, this is what you are going to pray. You are going to pray that in the name of Jesus, I, when I open my lips to, from today, when I open my lips as this water touches me, as I cleanse myself, as I put salt into my body, a salt that represents what? Taste, a soul that gives seasoning, a soul that give pay, give attention and durability to my being. As I, this water touches me today, may when I bless men, may they be blessed. Oh, cabro do kateandia. When I speak blessing upon people, may they receive that blessing. It, it, when when I when I impart on me, cabro sukato sidiandima. When I pray for people. May them be healed in the name of Jesus. Because from today, I have the power, I have the salt that gives, you know, give taste and season into the lives of the people. May it be, O oh Lord, that I will influence men. Because from today, as this water touches me, it touches my tongue. You can put some of this water upon your tongue. Because when you have contact with the tongue, you are going to influence men. You are, as you are a teacher, you are a preacher. When you speak, let there be an influence upon the people. When I speak on the radio, let this suit the ears of the people. When they see me on the screen uh, may I be appealing to for them to pay attention to me as I am doing this spiritual direction uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, may I touch the heart of men uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, may the favor of God comes upon me now when I talk with my customers uh, may them buy my goods uh, may them buy my services uh, in the name of Jesus uh, as I speak uh, to the heart of men uh, may them pay critical attention Attention. As I decree a thing, may it come to pass and be established in the mighty name of Jesus. As this water is pouring on me, oh, let your power, oh Lord, oh, descend upon me. And may I demonstrate your power from now when I speak. Let your power be demonstrated, not mine, not my ability, but from the be from heaven. In the name of Jesus, as I speak over businesses. Oh, may them flourish. As I speak as a presenter. Oh, may I draw, oh Lord, men's attention. As I speak restoration. Oh, may there be restoration. Let there be a power upon my tongue. I will no longer be a failure. As I go out there, I will no longer be a barren woman. I will no longer be a barren wife. I will no longer be a barren husband. May my tongue be like a sweet, oh, cabro suka. May my tongue sweet like uh, I have a honey upon uh, my tongue because of the seasoning of the salt uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as I speak now, uh, after this spiritual direction, uh, everything that is dead, uh, when I speak live, uh, may it come to pass. Uh, when I speak live, uh, may they receive life. Uh, may they come alive uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of the God Almighty, as I speak, let there be an authority in the realms of the spirit. As I speak, let me get men attention so they can hear the voice of God. They can hear the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Assault represent power. May there be power and authority in my life. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, oh, I declare all this. You are going to pray. You don't have to pray the same way I pray. You want taste. You want men to pay attention to you. You need the spirit of God to make you get attention of people. Do this salt water bath and you will come here 
to testify. As I said, the reason why people might not be paying attention to you is because there is a spirit around you that is driving these men and women around are away from you. The reason why people are not buying from you is because when they come to your shop, there is a spirit, you know, that is standing there and is driving them away. In other words, they can even close down your, your shop in the realms of the spirit. So they don't even know that there is a shop there that is existing. Sometimes it can be that people don't want to pay attention to you because you are unfavored. Whenever they come to your page, they just come to drive the people. They don't even, people don't even want to look at you because of what unfavored every uh, favor spirit that is following you and a monetary spirit that is following but when you do this sort but all this spirit will run away from you i hope you are blessed if you do please like this video let's communicate you know beneath this video and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe and then put on your notifications so that in my next video i or you can get notification and you can watch my video. I am getting tired now. I have been recording for God knows how many hours now. Just because now I have the time that I have to do it. So that my baby doesn't interfere. God richly bless you. We still have to work for God. We are here because of you. So I want you to support this you know, channel by clicking on that notification. God richly bless you. Shalom. Peace.